The New York Film Festival is currently in full sway, and among the documentaries featured in the lineup this year is one featuring a very influential New York rock band formed in the 1960s, the Velvet Underground. At one time, they were managed by pop artist Andy Warhol, and the charismatic Lou Reed was their lead singer. Kizzy Cox reports. We're sponsoring a new band. It's called the Velvet Underground. And me, I'm in a rock and roll band. A rock and roll band like no other. Todd Haynes' new documentary on the Velvet Underground explores the unique set of circumstances that brought together four outsiders to create a distinctly different sound, steeped in the heady mix of avant-garde art and filmmaking of 1960s New York City. They go so deep. Um, they go so deep within the 1960s itself. And they were so ahead of their time thematically and sonically that no one knew what to do with them, even at a time of incredible invention and desire for radical change. And it still took decades for people to catch up to what they were doing. So you learned so much about not only the 1960s, but, you know, why did that happen? At the center of it was the famous New York City artist and film director Andy Warhol, who discovered the band and became their manager. He incorporated them into his art studio called The Factory, where artists, models, and other cool kids, known as Warhol's superstars, hung out. People came because the cameras were running. They thought they could become famous. That's the center of it. Todd Haynes recreates the unconventional nature of Velvet Underground's music and how it combined with art in his film. He juxtaposes light with sounds, uses split screens, and takes viewers on an immersive journey through space and time. Velvet Underground's music was dark, edgy, and full of life. So it makes perfect sense that the band was created here. In fact, this apartment, on 56 Ludlow Street is where members of Velvet Underground perfected what would become some of their signature sounds. Lou Reed brought in themes from his own life with lyrics that never shied away from topics like drug abuse, sexuality, and depression. He was immensely talented and deeply emotional, but Reed could also be a difficult person to be close to. Todd Haynes' film explores his contradiction through those that knew him best. He was complicated, man. He was, he was full of all kinds of protective barriers. Somebody who felt insecurity, and he's sharing it with us in the most direct way possible, which is in his work. Reed's work and that of his band endures, speaking to people who don't quite fit in and prefer to embrace life with its rough edges intact. Emerging from a pandemic in which we all felt disconnected and off kilter, Haynes believes the Velvet Underground also resonates for a new reason. For us, it was the movie we had been making underground during lockdown in this pandemic. And, but it was a movie about an incredibly vital time in creative life, in, in the history of film, uh, and in music. And that music filled that room, man, and it, and it, I think it did something to the audience beyond what the film itself is doing, you know, because of the conditions that we've all lived through. Uh,